Okay, here we have another great painting. And this one's from 1923. And structure, picture, study series. Selected and arranged by Mary Owens. Subject number 33. Whoops. And this happens to be the money counter. Painted by Bartolom Eastern Band Murillo. Okay, and studied by John Lemons. All right. And here we go. That's when they put it on a big cardboard. As you can see, it's just a painting. It's on just a paper laid on the cardboard and stuff. But there's a whole bunch of information all about it right here that I'll read to you along with the questions that you might ask when you're looking at the portrait. Okay, and of course in the back there's always some extra information. So let's start with this part first. I'm going to slide it a little bit this way here just to get the glare out of the picture. Got to work at setting up a good lighting here, which I don't have. All right. So here's the detail of it all. Okay, the money counter. Here is a picture of a little Spanish girl and her brother. The girl is counting the money which they have earned from the sale of fruit. Apparently, the boy has just come from home with a replenished basket to take to the marketplace. In his desire to watch his sister, he crouches beside her, leaning for support on the basket from which some fruit has fallen to the ground. One may judge that the little girl bears at least a part of the family responsibility since she is seriously counting the coins. The boy, though interested, seems to be more carefree. It is evident that they are the children of thrifty parents. The girl has turned back her skirt and rolled up her sleeve to protect them from soil and wear. We notice, too, that for greater security, her purse hangs from her girdle between her dress and petticoat. The artist has centered our interest in the money in the girl's hand by directing the glaze of the girl and boy towards the coin by placing the hand which is holding the money against the dark background of the boy's clothing. See how subdued all the tones of the pictures are. Even the basket of fruit is in a soft green and browns. Marillo, a Spanish artist, who painted this picture was famous for his soft, rich colors. Ooh, he was a Spanish artist. Okay, now these are the questions you may ask when you're looking at the portrait. What are these children doing? How do you think they earn their living? What do you think usually usually carries the basket? Oh, who do you think? usually carries the basket. Why does the girl count the money? Which one seems the older? Are the children interested in what they are doing? What do their facial expressions tell you? In what kind of climate do these children live? What reason can you give for thinking so? What is the center of interest in the picture? Geez, I just read it all to you. Hmm. 
How has the artist drawn your attention to it? Who painted the money counter? Do you think that the artist liked children? And why? Well, I do believe he did. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this beautiful picture. It's nice. Just put on old cardboard. All it is is a portrait. Okay, and because this is learning to paint, here you have right there, you can put it on full screen, pause the video, and read it all. These are helpful materials for the teacher to help the teacher in teaching them how to paint this beautiful portrait. And of course, this is 1923. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Bye-bye now. Share with others. Don't forget to share. Other painters, other paint collectors, you know, people who collect nice, beautiful portraits from our history, because this is 1923. Share it with them. And everybody who's homebound and everything, they'd like to see beautiful old pictures like this and to hear the story behind the picture. All right? Sharing's always good. Bye-bye.